Shut up and sit down. Hey, hello everyone. I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate you watching my video. Um, this project we're going to walk through right now, I'm super excited, Bob. It uh, actually is a culmination of lots of different things. Um, it's a combination of the electronics work that I've been doing for years now, uh, actually, and some 3D printing. Originally did the, the, the original design in uh, actually some uh, wood, which is what I'm used to working with, uh, but I converted the entire thing over to 3D printing. I'm really excited by the uh, by the results, so I want to show it to you. So I think this is uh, something that anyone who uh, actually does some uh, YouTube uh, video recording or really anything uh, can get behind, and I'm going to show you uh, the project real quick. So. Uh, what we have here is uh, I'm going to show you the finished products and then we'll walk through some of the maybe uh, tutorials on um, the design and whatnot. So this is actually the box. Hopefully you can see that, get that into focus, uh, which is the housing for the front panel here. We'll put it on, slide it on here. It fits perfectly. You can't really see, but... If I hold it up in the light, you see that? That is amazing, right? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this box. We are going to put some LEDs in the box. There's a little hole here on the end to plug in the USB port. We are going to put the front panel on and seal it all up so no one knows what the white box is for. <laughs> and then uh, when we're recording videos, we are going to turn on the light and it will show recording for the back side. So I'm super excited about this. Um, it's actually, this is going to be a multi-part video. What you've seen is the output. Uh, we are going to build it all, um, and I'm probably going to do one or two other videos, one on the actual modeling, the 3D modeling of this device, and then one on the code. We are going to use this device, which is an ESP8266, um, which is actually this device on top. This is actually a thing called a Node MCU, uh, which is the ESP8266 on a motherboard that provides very important <laughs> functions which is the USB little power regulating here and it also gives these nice pinouts here um, more importantly though uh, we can stick this in our device in our box here it's just, just like it's just like this um, and then the LEDs will go across the top and it'll light, uh, shine the light out the front. So um, I'll be working on this over the next day or two. Um, we'll have it complete soon. I want to do a tutorial on the code for this. It's actually, um, uh, it, it's fairly complicated. I, I, I made it more complicated perhaps maybe than it needs to be because what I want to do is I want to plug this in and control it remotely so this device allows me uh, this a ESP822 here allows me to control it via Wi-Fi so uh, rather than uh, having uh, go up and press a button saying that I'm recording or some other running wires down through the walls doesn't really matter um, I'm gonna be able to toggle it from my computer here and uh, it's gonna say recording and I haven't really figured out if I'm gonna flash it or you know, just say uh, uh, recording or whatever. So we'll figure that out as we move along. And uh, quite honestly, I'm going to post all the code for this. Um, it's a project I've been working on now for well over a year, year and a half. Uh, other purpose, it's actually to control uh, Christmas lights outside the windows, um, but the same basic infrastructure works the same um, for a very small strip of lights inside this device. Um, and so you have access to the code if you want to change it. Um, quite honestly, it's very flexible. You'll see that in the upcoming video. Uh, shouldn't have to change the actual software. Just load the firmware onto the device and then uh, command it to do what you want it to do. And um, with any luck, um, I'm hoping that I can actually uh, create a, like an iPhone app 
or uh, some sort of uh, computer-based app to control this uh, so I don't have to go you know necessarily click it and whatever so we'll figure all that out um, but I am super excited so uh, stay tuned please again multi uh, multi part video mm -hmm. and so I just want to show you real quick before I forget uh, this is the original uh, let's call it a prototype for lack of a better term we did it in wood uh, my son and I designed this and I'll you can see how much you can definitely see the recording um, how it shines the light. It looks fantastic as well. Um, we printed the 3D letters out individually, attached them to some ABS here, and then created this um, wood frame. And uh, right here the top comes off. Um, and it allows me to slide this in and out and whatnot. Uh, I can post the model if anyone's interested in this particular one. But... Um, the, uh, what I found is this, you can see this sort of a hole that I carved or burnt <laughs> into the wood here is where we're going to put the uh, module and I thought, well, you know, it would be a lot easier if we actually just 3D printed some sort of uh, square base or something to put this in and then that spiraled into the new project. So uh, again, stay tuned. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as always. Um, if you don't like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up anyway. Uh, please subscribe. Um, apparently that's important to YouTube. I'm not sure that uh, how much long I'll, uh, uh, how much of these videos I'll be doing, but obviously if I amass some subscribers, I'll keep doing them. But I'm just gonna keep doing videos of uh, things I enjoy to do. Uh, which is this, electronics and 3D printing and CNC machines, which I haven't made too many videos of. There's some time lapse out there if you want to look at them. But uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll have the uh, uh, the final build video. We'll have the code video. And then um, we'll move out from there and see what happens. So I appreciate your time. Thanks, as always. Um, again, thumbs up. We'll see you soon. Thanks.